Hi, this is Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another acrylic pour today. Actually going over a um, old Christmas decoration. So just maybe give you guys some ideas if you see any of these kind of things on sale or, or in a charity shop. It's just like a MDF wood. And I picked it up cheap for four dollars so that was cheaper than buying a canvas and of course it's got the uh, Christmas theme on it so um, I'm not worried about that so I'm, I've what I've done is I have just got this very fine sanding super fine sanding block and I've already sanded it all down in case it had any um, any loose paint on it then I just wiped over it with a um, with a damp cloth just to get the dust off and things so I thought why not paint over it so 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 I am going to um, I'm not sure what I want to do whether I want to do a flip couple of small flip cups I suppose I've just got very few paints here and I might just try doing a couple of flip cups so I'll probably do it that way um, I'll try doing some flip cups and see how it turns out just do smaller maybe I might get two or three smaller cups uh, the paints I'm using are my Montmartre studio acrylics um, with my uh, where's my glue gone my ear I'm using, uh, I've been using this for a while now, the clear PVA, uh, the Montmartre one. I've tried the Elmer's clear glue and it doesn't work. So if you're in the US and you want similar results, if I was you, I'd be using the Elmer's glue all um, at 70% glue, 30%. I just add a little bit of warm water at 30%. Um, because that works equally as good but obviously it's a lot easier to get Elmer's glue all in America than it is for me in Australia so on with the gloves and we'll um, I'm just using up some paints that I have left so I can mix some nice fresh paints all ready for my pours that I'll do on the weekend um, after our trip to the beach we're gonna have a little um, trip down the beach which is about 20 minutes away from where I am um, Noosa Beach is probably the closest so we'll have a little trip to the beach in the morning and a, grab some uh, breakfast to sit and have coffee and and uh, breakfast at the beach and uh, spend the morning there and then come home and I'll get into my art again doing something that I love to do so it's my kind of day plan for tomorrow so this is the white just the plain oops a bit much in there getting carried away it's just the white brilliant white Montmartre um, my pouring medium recipe and my stock is for paints is in the description box below this particular video anybody that wants to have a little look see it's there and I add only two drops of Helmar silicone because it goes it just makes such a difference and the Helmar silicone is the only silicone that I've used and trust me I've tried many many that doesn't actually leave a residue uh, on the dried painting which is great when you come to um, gloss coat it. Still, I still if I'm coating something I'll still put my um, soft damp cloth in uh, soapy water rinse it out really well then go over my work that I want to um, coat with the gloss or whatever I do I'll try and add a link to my gloss coating I've got a few videos on different gloss coatings that I that I do to finish off your work after they've dried and cured because I've had 
a few people mentioned that they'd like to know what I do so I have got a few videos for you guys to have a look at so I have used the white I've used phalo blue and I've used turquoise so I've got a little bit of um, metallic copper here it's a little bit runny so it usually disappears if it's this runny uh, what I find is you have to do your metallics quite thick to show up in in your pores you know unless they're all metallics that you're pouring with well, that's all good 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 put a little dollop of white back over that and sinking into it because the white is thicker than the um the metallic copper or bronze, I don't know if it's copper or bronze, I can't remember now. So we've had an absolutely gorgeous day here in Queensland. It's uh, just been beautiful. So enjoy this sort of um, autumn winter weather here because we obviously don't have snow in this part where I live or anything or really or, or icy weather so very very temperate climate so I'm just hoping that I didn't need to sort of go over this with a like a undercoat of some description I'm just hoping that me rubbing it back a little bit um, makes the paint cling on to it really well forget you guys if you want to um, show me your work or what you've been up to we have a glorious um, community in our Australian acrylic pouring group um, you don't have to be Australian to join it. It's worldwide and we have got such gorgeous, um, helpful people to one another. And we they're all there to help one another out. There is quite a few uh, moderators and administrators on that group. So it isn't always me. Um, there's other people that help with it and, and that's, that's wonderful. Finding it really, really wonderful. I might just throw in this mix. I've got the real, I'm not sure if that's the dark navy or the very, very dark cherry. I can't quite see. I almost need my glasses. Just put a bit in there because I've got it left over. So it's getting a little bit thick, so I'll use it up. So that's it never throw away any paints just to get grab yourself a surface whether it's one like this a canvas or whatever to um, put the leftovers on and see what you get out of it like that's it some of the the best paintings turn out to be the accidents the ones you never meant to do okie dokie Okay, let's do this thing. So, it's the flip cup. I'm literally gonna leave it there, leave it there, leave it there. Let's smash it too hard, you might squidge it. Squidge it, squidge it. So I'll just leave them for a second or two for the paint to sort of come down like I said, each of those cups had two, two drops of the Helmar silicone and I always stir my silicone really well into the paint. Uh, yeah, into the paint that I'm mixing it with. I stir it really well. I remember when I first started pouring that people were saying you put the drops in and don't stir it to mix. Well, that's when you, you know, don't stir it to mix it. 
that's when you get these big globules of silicon sitting on or big worms the worms are caused by the silicon so um, I've always from trial and error I've learned to give them a real good you paint a real good stir so it mixes the silicon in and you have less likelihood of like big globules sitting on the top of your uh, finish work just a little thing that I've learnt myself through uh, trial and error so here we go Ooh, don't go over too much over there oh those colors oh my goodness tell you what though that the mix is really um, really thin for a flip cut bar I better do this quickly so I can get this happening but those colors oh, I can see they are stunners please let this be a beauty yeah this is really thin paint for a flip cut pour you usually do thicker paint for a flip well I usually do I'm not sure what anybody else does but I do a little bit thicker so it it um, obviously when you're doing the tilt and it goes a little bit slower I'm losing all this other half and I didn't want to such gorgeous colors on it look at that dark through there oh I've got so much paint here I might do a Karen Dernish's flip and lip flip and lip I think she calls it I don't mind having the colours tur turned over the edges like this at all. I don't. I don't. Okay. Wowzers. I just love these colours together. Oh my goodness, now I'll have to go back through the video and um, see. Remind myself how I layered them. So that's the beauty, I suppose, of even um, videoing yourself. If you're not up to showing anybody else your videos, it's a good uh, record for yourself to see how you did something. Because I do so many, I people are, oh, what did you do on this one? I can't remember because I do so many. And probably my age. That's what happens when you're old. So those colours are stunning. Stunning. Very, very happy with that. Got a little bit of at the back there. I've got a little bit I can pour over the back instead of. I would normally finger pop it like I tell you guys to do, but I've got all this lovely paint left over. I really want to like to pour back through the center again. Oh, should I? Should I? Should I? Just give it a go. It's only paint. I like it. That's beautiful because that I'm, I'm going to obviously further work it. But if that dries those colours in it like that, that will be beautiful to put the resin on because it's on a MDF box. So it's um, not like a canvas can sag when you put resin on the weight of the, the resin that would look fantastic I believe so wow that is lovely goodness see there you go that was complete leftover colors and I'm absolutely loving that I'm loving it and that's the only person you have to please is yourself you have to, if you're very happy with something it doesn't matter what anybody else's criticism because it's your your art your way your rules 
my rules there's no rules so I'm really happy with that let me know what you think guys um, and be good enough to give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so because it helps artists if you do that if you give them a comment and a thumbs up and you subscribe to their channel and even better if you press the notification bell because if it costs you well I don't seek nothing from you but that just helps me um, and continue to continue on doing uh, helping others and doing something that I love so thank you guys for joining me again today I want to thank you for the absolute wonderful comments of support I have had this week I am absolutely overwhelmed um, with the comments lovely comments I've had I've had an absolutely unbelievably number of subscribers to my channel in the last 48 hours um, it seems that when somebody says something bad about you that's a high profile person um, it works for the best for you um, so you know it's it's a uh, yep I'm not losing any sleep over it and I'm really happy I have a lovely life absolutely beautiful family uh, I want to bring you guys into the joy in my world and not into any vile nasty atmosphere I want to keep it joyful and light so thank you guys thank you for the love you sent to me thank you for the private messages thank you for joining the subscribing and thanks for joining our Australian acrylic pouring group a wonderful community of people and I thank you so much all the links are below for everything thank you guys until next time bye for now have a great weekend